super fan Marky Heideman is in studio this morning. He's been following the show, Janet, for years, for as long as I've been doing the show. There he is, Mark Heideman TV. He has his own television station. A Christmas wish come true is what I'm calling it because we're finally getting him on the show. We'll talk to Marky Heideman. There he is, coming up after the break. Stay with us. Heideman, he is our NBC 25 super fan, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And you attend what high school again? Aranac Eastern High School. Aranac Eastern High School. And he aspires to be a broadcast journalist. He's followed NBC 25 for years, haven't you? Mm -hmm. He knows more about this place than we do. Well, I put together a, a little uh, something else for you, and our, along with our director, Rob Zalesh. Here's some clips of Marky Heideman from uh, Mark Heideman TV. Take a look. It put a halt to farming. It left sporting events canceled. As the storm grew larger, many mid-Michigan residents took shelter in ditches, cellars, and basements. To many, this diet seems just too good to be true. In fact, it's not even approved by the FDA. All but one person are new to the drama department, which is said to bring new energy to the theater. Residents who live near the corner of Cass and Cedar Street say it's not the amount of traffic that passes by that poses a safety risk. Housing and food are provided. But how much is provided is often questioned. You know, typically, like, we are very prepared as far as we know what we want. Not only can you find great deals and discounts in stores, but also at your fingertips. Not only can you report potholes, but you can also use the contact your legislator feature. Reporting in Aranac County, Mark Heideman, Mark Heideman TV. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome, Marky? Good job. Thank you. I am very, very impressed. And he keeps up to date with all the news. You have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. you have a website, and you have employees. <laughs> okay, what? Why do you? Why do you want to be a broadcast journalist? What? What is it about it? I think news is very fun to do, and it's just something that I enjoy. Like every time I make a report, I enjoy every minute of it. Love news. It's always changing. Yeah. And you're, how do you find the time to update your Twitter, your Facebook, shoot your stories, go to school? Um, I do a lot of it on weekends. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of after school and everything. He actually has his own studio at his house and we're going to take a look at that coming up in our next segment with Marky. But um, you did the heart walk with me this yeah. last uh, May and he has a picture and it has been his prime Facebook photo um, for a while. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, we have that picture we can show uh, when we pull it up here in a second. Uh, did you have fun at the heart walk? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, there it is right there, Marky. <laughs> oh, that we had so much fun there didn't we? Mm -hmm. What do the kids think at school about um, you doing this? They're very supportive and they ask me about it all the time. They buy the t-shirts, etc. That is really cool. <laughs> and you DVR our shows. Yeah. And when do you watch them? Um, usually when I get home from school. Do you miss ever miss a show? Not really, no. You never miss a show? <laughs> now, Mark, he texts us, he tweets us, he fakes, <laughs> Facebooks us. He is uh, he's very, very, very committed. And why NBC25? Are we the only station? He, yeah, you guys are the only season. That you follow? Yeah. Why is that, Marky? Because you guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Hey, he said it, not me. Thank you. And Marky, thank you so much. And we're going to have fun with Marky this morning. We're actually going to let him read a story. And he's actually hooked up to an IFB, which is where he could hear the director in his ear. So he is getting the full experience of uh, being a broadcast journalist today on NBC25. So thank you. It is our pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. How is it watching yourself, Marky? It's kind of weird, but I'm used to it now. <laughs> uh, and is this the first time your uh, stories have actually aired on tele live television? Yep, this is my TV debut. How, how does that feel? <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. Is it pretty cool? Yeah. Now, um, what are your aspirations? How do you um, plan to move ahead? I mean, you have a website. We have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, can, we have access to that right now that you guys can take a look. You can support Marky Heideman and uh, like his page on Facebook, but t talk about um, how you got started and how it formed. Um, oh, a few years ago, my cousins, my sister and I used to make mock news videos mm -hmm. and just for fun, and then I grasped on the idea to make more serious ones, and as I began doing that, I enjoyed it, and I continue to do them all the time. And how often are you updating your Facebook and Twitter, and uh, what do you update with? Uh, we try to do it every few days mm -hmm. and I share links and everything and post videos whenever 
I can. And why do you want to be in broadcast journalism? Why do you want to do it? Um, I just find it fun and I like the rush of breaking news and everything. You do? Mm -hmm. And uh, you follow NBC25. Yes. You uh, DVR our shows. Yeah. And when do you find time to watch these shows, Marky? <laughs> right after school. <laughs> so you uh, DVR and watch our shows. You go to school. You run your own television program. Mm -hmm. You shoot your own stories. Yes. And you have a lot of the real stuff at home. And you even have a microphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you plan on going to college? Where do you want to go? Do you know yet? Um, probably CMU. CMU. That's where I went. Go check. <laughs> They have a great program there, Marky. Well, good luck in all your endeavors. Um, coming up, though, at the end of the show, you guys have to stick around because Marky's going to be reading a story for us uh, with the teleprompter and everything. We're going to let you do it on your own. Okay. Does that sound like fun? Yep. All right. Cool. Our super. <laughs> He's up next. Okay. Santa and his reindeer are delivering toys and goodies to good little girls and boys. <laughs> Military specialists say St. Nick has left the North Pole. NORAD will provide up-to-the-minute reports and pictures from key stops on Santa's trick. Track Santa's journey by visiting NORADSanta.org. Jana, are you going to be tracking Santa? You bet. Actually, I'll be working Christmas Eve, so I'll be forecasting that and giving Santa the... Oh, there he goes. He goes, he goes through uh, St. Louis. I'm going to be all on oh, that website. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Marky Heideman uh, owns Mark Heideman Television. He just opened it up in 2001. And you go to what school 2010. again? 2010. 2010. Why do I keep saying, oh, I'm probably just when I graduated. <laughs> and I used in high school. That's where I go. So um, you go to Aranac Eastern High School. Yeah. And why do you want to be a broadcaster? Um, I find it entertaining, and I like to rush of breaking news, and I cool. just enjoy it. And his parents are here. We're all going to go out to breakfast. We're going to celebrate, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. On the next Dr. Oz.